Hello, welcome back to MED, and today we're looking at crankshafts, how to measure a crankshaft for the right bearing sizes. So we've got two cranks here. What, what have we got, Steve? Okay, both Twaston 53T. This is a newish one that we've just polished down so we can send it for Friday. This one's a used, badly worn crankshaft just for viewing purposes. Okay. Okay, we also have a 1 to 2 micrometer. Don't know how many of you are actually capable of reading micrometers, but we'll give you a quick insight. Micrometers will come in what we call a 0 to 1 size, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 4 to 5, etc. etc. This is a 1 to 2, so it'll measure from 1 inch to 2 inch. If you set the barrel, here's the barrel, spin it round so the zero on the barrel is next to the zero on the central barrel, just there so the line on the barrel lines up with the barrel uh, the, the line on the thimble yeah that now is exactly one inch okay as you wind this back you're increasing one thou at a time until you get round two 22 three four five you're back to zero but you will find now that to tell you that you've gone past 25 thou there are more lines along the barrel there so once you go past 25 you've got one small line then another 25 you've got a slightly bigger line another 25 you've got a small line and then you come to the one and that's 100 thou so if you are now there you're basically one inch 25 times each division four divisions Four times 25 is 100, so you've got one inch and 100 thou. Awesome, okay. And that's imperial, I suppose you get a metric. You can get a metric equivalent, yes. But for the sake of these, uh, these A-series are all cranks. A-series, these should all be measured imperially. Okay, do you want to show us how you'd use that then? Okay, so we'll go on to this one. This is a freshly polished crank, ready to go for heat treat, so it'll be slightly undersized. And the size of this is an A plus big end, which is 1.750. Okay. So we'll wind this one out to... So this is the larger of the two A-series sizes. That's right, this is the A-plus big end size. So that is where we should be. So one inch, 700 thou, because we're going along, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. and 250, 225s is 50. So one inch, 750. Just lock the barrel. Okay. Now, that is the size of the big end. I think note the technique as well there because it's you've got a special way of kind of balancing <laughs> that on there. This is 50 years of using these things. Okay. I was a tool maker originally and to use a micrometer you use it like so. I've seen people using them like G clamps, goodness knows what. Right. But the correct way is with your fingers yep. like so. Pop him on there, wind the barrel off and then wind it up until you can just feel a little tiny bit of pressure, like so, and then it'll roll around, pop the micrometer off. You'll now see that this one is one inch, 700, but it's not to the zero, it's half a division smaller. So it's one inch, 749.5, which is half a thou under inch and three quarters. Okay. Now, the reason that's like that is because when this crankshaft goes for heat treatment, it will actually grow in size by half a thou, which will then bring it up to size the size we want. And then it'll be perfect for the uh, new bearings. Be perfect for the new bearings. So this, Albeit, is... this, this is a standard size crank, yep. so 1.750. If it, if it was 10 thou under, you would be 5 thou, 10 thou. So now you would be one inch, 700, 25 because you've got one division, plus 15. So one inch, seven, 25 on the first barrel, plus 15 is 1.740. And that gives you an idea of which bearings you might need. That will the then crank. say that they're 10 thou under. 20 thou under, you would be five, 10. So yeah. you'll be one inch, seven, 25 on the middle barrel, plus five, yeah. one, seven, 30. And uh, this bad boy here, it's got some really badly right, worn... This is one we've dug out, just for you to view. You will see it's absolutely goosed 
on the main bearings. Nice. Looks like this one's run out of oil or the oil pump's failed. Somebody's carried on driving it. The bearings have touched the crank, which has then rubbed the crank away, rubbed the bearings away, totally. And if we just put a silly check on this. So there's no, not much point in measuring that because you're not going to get a bearing to... No, you're to not going to get that. a bearing to... And the ridges in it are most probably three or four thou deep. Yeah. But we'll put a micrometer on it just to give you an idea of the size of it. Do you think you could save that then? I will tell you in a moment once we've put a micrometer on it. The big ends look a bit worn out as well, don't they? They've got yeah, some, well, you can see the, the parts of the bearing that are still left on there. Okay, so this is still a standard size crankshaft, but you'll now see it's one two thou undersize, zero minus two, but also we're actually measuring on top of these ridges. Yeah. So if you say two thou there, the ridges are perhaps two thou deep, yeah. We're going to need to take 5 thou off that side, 5 thou off that side. So this crankshaft will most probably not clean up at 10 thou undersized. It'll most probably go to 20. Okay. And as you've just noticed, Stephen, you can see where it's just about ready to knock the big end out. You'll see the bearing shell is actually welded itself partially to this <laughs> big end. Yeah. Just here as well. So... I um, mean, you'd hear that, wouldn't you, if the engine was running? You'd, you'd... It, you would feel it rumbling. Yes. Really? Okay. Yeah. If the, bear, if, the, if the crankshaft's two thou undersized, the bearings are going to be two, three thou undersized. So you're going to have a crankshaft that's flapping about in its bearings by five thou, and it would rumble like billio. <laughs> and if you got an oil pressure gauge in, you would be down below 20 PSI. Awesome. So, yes, quite bad. There you go. Okay, thanks for the insight. It's a bit of uh, info on how to measure your crank at home. Cheers, Steve.